Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be walking you through my staged home tour. Now if you missed the big announcement, surprise, <laughs> we're selling our house and we are planning on moving. So go ahead and watch that video first. If you haven't seen it yet, you will be filled in on a lot more detail <laughs> and then go ahead and come back here. But today I wanted to share some of the changes that we've made around the house a few updates we've done we've painted I've taken quite a bit down I really wanted the home to feel minimal and clean and peaceful but still feel kind of cozy so we're gonna walk through together and do one last home tour which is so bittersweet but if you're excited about today's video give this a thumbs up and let's get started so before we dive into the tour today, I wanted to take a quick second and share an online learning community that I have been loving. It's called Skillshare. And it's a community where millions of people from all over the world come together to take the next step in their creative journeys. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. Most of the classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. So I have taken several courses through Skillshare. Some of those include chalk painting like a pro. You guys know I love my DIYs. More recently, I took interior design holiday home and it's all about interior design with holiday decor and the instructor Rosie she is so inspiring I feel like I gleaned so much from her she shared lessons on decorating your tree on gift wrapping doing a beautiful tablescape for that Christmas dinner and it definitely got me in the holiday spirit as we're moving towards that season and decorating for Christmas so I definitely encourage you to check that one out if you become a member today they're always adding more courses with an annual membership it's less than ten dollars a month and the first 1,000 people to use my link and sign up will get a free trial to the Skillshare Premium Membership. I definitely encourage you to take advantage of that today. And I would just like to say thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So right when you walk through our front door, you see our large foyer entryway area. And I have always had an entryway table here but you guys know I've changed it a ton of times. Like I've changed the wall decor. I even got a new table more recently. Um, but when it came to staging the house, I really wanted it to feel simple and elegant and spacious and clean. So let's take a closer look at it. So you can see here, I just have my round mirror. I have, I found that at Wayfair. Hi guys. I feel like it just really opens up the space. It's clean lines. It fits several styles of home design. And then I have a table lamp and I've got a warm light in there so it feels cozy. A stack of books with a little fall candle. And a pro tip for you guys, I know they say to bake cookies, but another thing you can do is light all of your candles. And then before you leave the house for the showing, blow them all out and it will still smell yummy. And then I also have some faux stems and a vase. I wanted to keep things very simple, just green and white for a nice pop of color. Then you can see down here, I have two plaid pillows. They're from Kirkland's. I got a lot of questions about them before, but I just stuck them here in these baskets just for a pop of color and warmth. I feel like they're very cozy because I wanted this to feel clean, but I still wanted it to feel really welcoming when you walk through the front door. Thank you. 
So right off the entryway, you guys know if you've been around, I've got these large French doors in this bedroom. Now this could be a great office, and I thought about maybe making it an office for showings, but my realtor said, no, 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 leave it as a bedroom because it's obvious that it could be an office, but most people won't automatically assume, oh, this could be another bedroom. It does have a closet and a bathroom, so it counts. And you can see here, I just have some symmetrical lamps and side tables, but let's go ahead and look around a little closer. I've always loved these plantation shutters and I love when I open these windows, it's so bright in here. But I kept the bedding the same, very neutral and cozy. I did add this bench to the end of the bed and a rug. And then the main thing, the main change that I made in here was that I added symmetrical nightstands and lamps. These used to be in my living room, but I really wanted this space to feel cohesive, not just like I threw it all together. And then over this way, I just have a dresser and matching mirror. Kept it very simple on the top with another vase with greens and a lamp. So right off of the guest room is our guest bath and main level bath. And I don't show you guys in here too often, but I just kept things very, very simple. I've got a simple little faux greenery from Target, a glass bottle of hand soap, and a fresh white towel. I just wanted things to look really clean and fresh in here as well. I changed out the shower curtain. Didn't do anything too crazy, just a simple slate blue. I think that looks very peaceful, but it still adds a nice pop of color. Okay, back to the entryway area. That was the whole guest suite. Now let's move on to the sitting room and the dining room. So the main changes that I made were simply taking off. I had a lot of pumpkins and fall decor here on the sideboard and I kept things super simple. I kept this fall quote on the chalkboard just because it does fit the theme of the season right now. People are thinking about fall, um, but I just have a simple white lamp, this pretty little faux eucalyptus plant, and then some candlesticks. So the main reason I took the fall decor down here and I just went with very neutral pillows kept it very clean is because I really wanted it to feel very airy in here, very bright. There's so much natural light in this room and it's so beautiful just as it is. I didn't want it to get bogged down with too much decor. So the dining room was the room that I actually struggled with the most because if I took too much decor down, then it looked bare and it didn't feel homey. But you guys know with my fall decor, I had so much going on that it was way too busy for photos and for staging. So I had quite the challenge working with this space, but I love how it turned out. The biggest change I made was taking out two of the leaves out of this table and just doing six chairs. And oh my word, this room looks so much bigger and roomier. It still looks big enough that you could fit a large table if you had one but it just makes the space overall feel cozier too, all at the same time. I opted to keep my Anna Green Gable sign right here. It's very simple and neutral, so I thought it worked great. And then here on the hutch, I took everything down and I just used all of the white dishes as my inspiration, as well as these um, rolling pins. I just wanted to keep it simple, but still wanted it to look full and like it was decorated, if that makes sense. So I did do a touch of greenery in here too. I kept my scale up. I just put one large pumpkin again, just kept a touch of fall. And then on the table, I did my basket of hydrangeas. And I love the way that this looks. It's very simple, very elegant. Because of the room that I had here in this space now, I added my kind of antiqued Windsor chair in this corner. And I love that you can see it when walking into the room. And then I added this pillow again, just one another 
cozy message to potential buyers that it says it's so good to be home. So I think that will be a nice cozy touch as someone is walking through this space. And then with the shelves here, I kept it very, very simple. I actually love how this looks and I wish I would have done it sooner. I like that there's only two elements here on the second shelf, but it still looks put together. And now moving more into the heart of the home, we have our kitchen eating area. Pretty much kept everything exactly the same. I still have my white table and bench with my wicker chairs on the ends. And I kept this kind of rust color um, pillow, just again, for a, a subtle touch of fall. But the main thing I changed was I just added these eucalyptus stems instead of the previous fall stems that I had. So now we're here in the kitchen off of the table area and I really didn't make a lot of changes in here. The only thing I did was I took all of my fall decor down as you know I have in every room. I didn't have any, I decided not to have any decor here on the island because our light fixture is such a statement and it hangs down fairly low that I wanted to make sure the kitchen was visible to the eye when you were walking in the home. So I do have a candle burning, but I'll take that down for pictures and for showings. It smells really good right now though. It's a hot chocolate candle, mm, smells so good. I did keep the herbs over the window because I feel like that's such a statement for my kitchen. I don't know, it's, it didn't feel right to take it down. I think people will love that. And so let's go ahead and just show you around. One random side note, one of the big changes that we made um, were to actually all of our doors. We previously had all gold and not like that muted pretty gold, like the bra brassy, not my favorite gold <laughs> from your classic 90s home. And we swapped all of the doorknobs and all of the hinges out with a matte black, just because that kind of goes with the modern farmhouse feel and what a difference it made worth it it takes this home to another level you walk in and you no longer think oh this home was built in the 90s you think that it's a lot more modern and that it's a newer build so off of our kitchen eating area we do have a back porch and we have just a nice sectional i kept it really simple um, for staging i don't have any plants Basically summer has ended and I didn't get any mums or anything for out here, but you can just kind of see we have the beautiful trees and we love this backyard space so much. So here in the family room, our main concern was kind of taking out some of the furniture. I had a lot of furniture in here that was mismatched and it was a little bit, I thought it was cozy, but it was a little on the cluttered side. Um, so we took all of that out and we really wanted this space to feel huge and minimal. And I think we achieved that. So a big thing I did was taking out the side tables. You'll see it's just the couches. We did, I asked my realtor, I said, do you want me to put neutral pillows in here or should I keep the orange for fall? And they definitely recommended that I kept the fall colors in here. They said it would pop on pictures to have a pop of color. So the orange is still here. We took the art off of the wall over the couch because I feel like it really shrunk the space, which I liked because I like a cozy vibe, but for potential buyers, it really like brought the level down. So you can see now I'll show just how grand and tall these walls and the ceiling really is. Another change I did was I added this large black window pane to the mantle. Um, before it was fall decor. Um, and this used to be over my bench, but the reason I added this was because it was the tallest piece of art that I had. And this mantle is so tall that I wanted to decorate to the space. So 
So now we're upstairs in the master bedroom and I really wanted this room to feel spacious and luxurious and like a sanctuary. I remember when we looked at this house, this is the room that sold me. When I came upstairs and saw this big room with the big fireplace and the cozy sitting area, I was like, this is our house. Um, I went with all white bedding. I've had this bedding for a long time, so that was nice. I didn't have to really change anything out, but we did shiplap the mantle and I did peel and stick tile on the fireplace. We also changed out the light fixtures and the ceiling fan. And doing that in the last few months has completely transformed this space. Um, I love having my desk area up here. It's so cozy and, and I actually took all of the decor off of my dresser just to keep it clean and sleek. And I think this room turned out beautiful. Excuse the towel over there, but now we're in the master bathroom and the main thing we did in here was change out the faucets. We have some brassy gold going on with the shower. So we just did some muted gold bath faucet and then also the sinks and that just kind of tied everything together. As far as decor, just kept things really, really simple in here as well. And coming down the hall, we have all three of the kiddos' bedrooms. I'm just gonna show you them really quickly. Um, but we have Emma's room in here, and I just have it very simple. I did keep the E above her bed, even though we were advised not to. Um, I just didn't have anything else to put up there. And I figured you couldn't see the entire name, so it was okay. But I took out a lot of her toys and knickknacks. And same thing over here with the boys' rooms. I did take down the art we had above his crib. And then over here I took down some family pictures that I had with baby Graham when he was born. And I just kept it kind of neutral and simple. So Graham and Grayson's room is a Jack and Jill, if y'all didn't know that. We've got a simple dual vanity going on here. We changed out these faucets. They were gold before. Um, it goes well with the blue, I feel. And we also have just a shower and toilet room over here. And here we have Grayson's room. His room is one of my favorites in the house. It has a lot of fun character, um, but I just kept his bedding the same. I've got his fiddle leaf here. And then above his dresser, I took down all of his pictures and I didn't keep anything on the actual dresser. I kept it very, very minimal. Now go ahead and head down to the basement. So I just have the sign from Kirkland's. You come to the right. I have my play letters with the toy bins. All I did was put a little faux plant on top of that. And then we have a little sitting area. I do love the windows in this space. It has been so great with the kids. We used to have the train table here and like a little kitchen set up, but I just took all of that out. And then we do have a TV up here as well. And then I just have a hodgepodge of table and a couple chairs here. We always did have a table and chairs here um, when, when I had it as a playroom. Um, but I added the dining chairs in here that we took from upstairs. And then over here is just another massive bonus space. There is so much that you could do with this area. Last but not least, we have our movie room. We have watched so many movies down here. We have loved having the large projector screen. We just have some couches. We never really did a lot with this space, mainly because it was kind of Caleb's space. This is actually where he works. He works from home. And so this has served really well as like a very quiet office space for him. I've been able to be upstairs with the kids and he can kind of just come down here in the peace and quiet. And there is a door to the backyard out here. I don't know if I've ever shown y'all this before, but it's a gorgeous day. You can kind of see we have a very big fenced in backyard that overlooks the golf course. We have been so blessed to have this space out here. We have loved it so much. Well, this is where the home tour ends. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the complete staged home tour, every room of the house. 
Um, we have had a lot of fun, but it's been a lot of work getting this home ready. And we have just been so, so thankful for this home. It has served us so well. And we're really excited about what's coming, what's ahead. Of course, we're a little bit sad because we love this house so much, but we're ready. So if you're excited to see all things moving, unpacking, decorating, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're following me over on Instagram at, at amy.fritz. That way you don't miss a single thing. But I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.